Howdy, everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, today in this podcast, we will be talking, or I should say video as well. Do you realize there is always a corresponding video and podcast at youtube.com slash quantlabs, uh, my channel. Okay, so in this case, we are looking at Kitty Nugget, uh, a article on um, TensorFlow for short-term stock prediction. Now, first, let's talk about all the AI machine learning uh, libraries out there. I've talked about it before from Google. Open source TensorFlow is pretty well the standard now. If you had listened to my um, Newsweek conference uh, a few weeks ago regarding the workflow or description of their detailed workshop that they had on AI for specifically high frequency trading from a couple of the firms out of New York, or I should say out of the East Coast and States, you'll know that they are using TensorFlow. This is a standard framework out there used for machine learning. It's from Google. It's pretty well, as I said, the standard. So in this case, what they're doing is, is they've got a tutorial showing another simple example how to do it for stock prediction and sentiment. All they're really doing is, is one of the more important things that I would do as well is take the positive and negative returns over distribution uh, and uh, just do a simple calculation of number of positives minus number of negatives collectively divided by number of positives and number of negatives. So get a little algorithm there and then we get a couple of ratios, da 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 da, grab some overall neural network convoluted neural network and, and again I'm no expert in this I do intend as Christmas coming up to get a bunch of machine learning books and um, go from there um, so I'll be a little more in depth with it but it, machine learning is definitely the way to do it um, I think it's still in the early stages uh, for us retail traders um, but this is an, another interesting article to go over it covers all the basic uh, evaluation on the predictions from this convoluted neural network as if <coughs> I'm an expert here and the other part is the evaluation and then the charting from it I, I was looking for a github because I look, like to learn off of the github stuff can't find it um, so we'll leave it at that and uh, hopefully uh, actually, there might be a tutorial here. Just please hang on. We're going to do a click. Oh, we're just going to take me up. Okay. Guide to TF building. Oh, I see. Just a more a more um, detailed uh, from Google. Okay. So regardless, I am interested to see if there is uh, a, um, a GitHub repo of this for this project be very interested to get hold but there's so many projects coming out now in machine learning and trading uh, let's see where we can find okay this is pi sentiment uh, as well as oh what before I forget I wanted to introduce you to this other news source we know about Quandle um, called Intrinio it's one of these um, up and coming, up and coming uh, fintech operations. It's data. It's very similar to um, Quando Financial data at your fingertips. I did check out the pricing. So there's this new re real time pricing for Nasdaq, seventy five dollars a month. You get bid and ask spread volume. Da 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 da. So there's a number of choices here from this. Um, from this firm, I think these are called data feeds. Um, so we got this Q U O D D. Lots of good stuff coming out. The data is just incredible. If you have listened to past podcasts I put out and other ones, the data is the key. And here we are. The key has now been lifted. Qatar exchange prices. This is, this is crazy. Philippine Stock Exchange. Um, 
So if you're an individual at 50 bucks, always go as an individual, pay less. Hooray. Norwegian, Nigerian, Nepal, Montenegro. Wow. So there you go, folks. No excuses not to do this. We shall talk to you later. Bye.